what's happening everybody so um, I decided to do a video today just to discuss break-even trades um, I'm not going to get to too much details about this however um, I had a very unfortunate trade with pound, uh, pound CAD today um, half decent trade um, very simple you probably can look at the structure and just tell from whatever system you're using and uh, we have an overall bias of the sentiment of the market which is down breaking previous structure lows making new lower lows new lower highs attempt to break previous structure huge rejection making a new lower low broke the previous structure um, low to the left and now we have this market making a new high, lower high in this formation so very simple sell opportunity to be honest with you um, looking at the structure on the hourly time frame we can see rejection starting to happen and um, all I'm really interested in is making sure I get a safe stop loss and get in this entry um, and obviously manage it all the way down now um, what happened is the trade started to move in my direction um, pretty uh, straight off the back and as you can see um, once price started to move around 50% of my trade I moved to break even now I always want to secure the bag um, and I always want to make sure that I'm managing my risk I can always get into trades another day and um, so I said to myself you know we're almost tagged our 50% mark so it's decided to um, set this trade at break even I did that and uh, as you can see unfortunately when I went to break even price came back up and tagged me back out now obviously I'm not executing on this I'm using this for charting so I'm MT4 um, I definitely got taken out especially with the spreads and um, then as you can see what happened price started to continue to push down we had a little bit of a rejection um, and then we just had price rallying all the way down and I believe it continued to do so certainly did and then where's price out now yeah continue to push down we've taken out this low so we can see that um the overall bias is sell bias was a super super great entry to be honest with you um just very very unfortunate in terms of being tagged out now what i try and do from every single trade that i take i try to take a lesson from it and for me personally the lesson that i noticed here was around the 50 percent mark of this trade um we can see um price came in and around this area um but what you notice price never closed below or even close to near or close near to um, that 50% mark that I'm looking for. So I think the safest option on this trade was to continue to trust my instinct, which was using this as a lower high opportunity based off of this structure and look for the continued sell opportunity. Um, that being said, I had one, two, um, two hours where price rejected this zone, which could be a bit scary. I get it. Um, but obviously our analysis is not based on the early time frame, so we should trust our instincts in terms of high time frame analysis. And then looking at this trade, it was this third one hour candle close that closed below my 50%. Now I'm not using it as a support zone, it's just clear direction for me, trying to figure out what I'm doing with this trade. If I had waited for this candle close to close at least on top or just below my 50% mark, then I would have been in a clear safe trade. By that time, um, I think we would have been looking at the trade. Uh, let's just replay this actually. I think at this time we'll still have our risk there. Um, so we don't mind the fluctuations up and down, up and down, and we know that happens. Um, and then on this final candle here, I could have just moved my um, stop loss to break even, been comfortable in this position. Yes, price did push down and failed to close below this previous candle. We see a close as an indecision. At this moment in time, it's nothing to worry about. We're risk free on this trade, and then we just wait for the completion. So clear lesson there. I mean, don't be too hasty to move your stop loss to break even allow price to breathe if you are trading um intraday then you know that you have to at least allow the movement of the four hour candle which can be an up and down fluctuation but they're just a clear example of um, what happened with pound cad now the um usd cad trade was absolutely phenomenal um to be honest with you um the minute we got triggered into this trade price just started to rally to the downside um, i'm not quite sure if this was the entry i think the entry was around here yeah absolutely and um, we got tagged in um, around this area i think price even pushed through a bit i um, moved this around to do a lesson um, for my students but i think it was around this area i could just double check that quickly um usd cad so let me just check this and make sure we've got this right so it was three 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 seven four six uh, there you go I told you so um we did allow some room um for this price to come back into uh, what we call our stop loss range and 
as you can see it had this um almost like a trend line drawn in we see price was making new structural lows on this level finally came into resistance um we was a bit hesitant about the support but to be honest with you if we're looking at this overall structure as structural low high lower high, uh, higher low higher high higher low higher high and now we have this rejection from the bait um from the top indicating sell pressure and then this slow slow trickling down market closing below structure which is lower highs we then can potentially anticipate um this move happening exactly what happened so very happy with that didn't even need to move my stop loss to break even um we just let this trade run out and then before you know it tp was hit within uh, a matter of time um we also took a look at this trade here on the euro pound um we was looking at this from high time frame analysis again i'm not going to go into too much details about this because everybody's um, system and strategy is different um but when we take the high time frame analysis um we can see here our structural lows um our structural highs and then when we go over to the lower time frames and um, we're looking at this trade from a range which is around this point here where price was at before and we set this trade looking to fill this gap to the upside um, we don't care if price resistance level starts to turn around again by the time price moves from our entry to around 50 percent mark was where our resistance would have been and then we simply just track this back in to break even to secure the trade we can see it smashed through now so just a matter of time before it reaches up there to be honest with you by the time you're at um, this space in this trade you could even go 25 percent of the trade and lock in some pro uh, profits but we'll have a good trading opportunity um fairly simple and um this one played out pretty well so we'll see how this one rolls um we did have a look at um uj this was another great opportunity we was waiting for price um to come back in and around these levels here now unfortunately uh, we didn't manage to get into this trade we was looking for price to pull back in and around these structure levels here as you can see and uh we want to be taking our trades from the points in the market where prices previously rejected and show signs of struggle um, as you can see what happened it just fell off and that was that so um now we can see price coming back into that level literally where i was waiting for it to tap started to reject it not worried not here to do analysis in terms of trading opportunities but i think the biggest point that i got from today um is making sure that when i'm in a trade i trust my analysis and um, until price closes at or below my 50% mark on my trade, then it will stay open in terms of risk. And uh, only until I really feel uh, there is a need to turn uh, uh, to set my trade to break even would I do so.